That went quick. Um, talk to Transformer. No, 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 not talk to Transformer. I was thinking about doing a couple tier lists, if anyone has any interest in such a thing. Just like some game and music related tier lists. Because I was thinking about like doing my top 10 games of the year and stuff, but that list isn't done yet, and I still have to type it up. So, um, I'm going to do a couple tier lists. I already did a Zelda tier list, so let's do Metroid. Um, hang on a minute. Mario tier list? Oh god, that's gonna be tough, but I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, I have to change this thing. Let me make a quick logo. Title T tier list. Here we go. Alright, great. Um, okay, so Metroid games. Uh, let me do a thing here. So we'll keep the original, like whatever the default is, we'll just keep it like this. So for example, if it's just S, A, D, or B, C, D, of course D comes after A, as we all know. Uh, I'll just keep it like that. Um, like I said, I finished Bumbo early, so I just had this random idea. Why don't I do some tier lists? I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do Metroid. We'll start with this. I'll do Mario. And then I might do some music stuff too. I might do some, uh, I might do a Radiohead tier list and White Stripes if you're interested. Um, Metroid Zero Mission S tier. Zero Mission is a fucking great game. And it's probably one of the best remakes I've ever played. And um, therefore, I would recommend it heavily. I'm going to put some music on while I do this, in fact. Just a little bit of background music. Um, and again, I can only really do tier list stuff for games that I... ...have played. So if I haven't played a game, I'll let you know about that. Super Metroid S tier. Definitely. Um, Super Metroid is one of my favorite games of all time, and I would say I understand why people would like Zero Mission a little bit better. I feel like Zero Mission improves on Super Metroid in some areas, but Super Metroid is just too, like, perfect of a game for me. And I, I love it dearly, so I can't have it anywhere other than... If I could, I would put it above S into SS. Uh, wow. <laughs> Great game, though. Metroid Prime Hunters, I'm gonna put in the C list. Because it's decent, it's a good game, but it was better multiplayer, and it was like a good, you know, Vinny, make a new tier. Um, no, you know, I'm gonna stick with this, I'm gonna stick with this, you, you know, you can, yeah, that's fine. But I see what you mean. Um, Hunters is not as bad of a game as some people may think it is, it's just the single player wasn't that good. Multiplayer was fun, really decent tech demo for the DS. Metroid 2 on the Game Boy, I'm going to put that in the C category. I loved Metroid 2 when I was a kid. But Metroid 2, you know what? B. I think that should go in the B category because it's... That's a tough one. I would probably put this in between B and C. But um, the truth is, Metroid 2 did not age particularly well. But it has some really fucking cool moments. I don't think... For a game that was on the Game Boy... I couldn't think of a more atmospheric game that scared me as a kid. Between the surprise Metroid attacks, between the systematic hunting down of the Metroids on the planet, and then the end, really weird isolation part, and the weird music. Yeah, B tier. But it just mechanically isn't all that amazing. Federation Force, I never finished, but I did play. Not that bad of a game. Again, th I think the main problem with Federation Force is that it was a game that came out in um, a time where there was a Metroid drought. And if Federation Force came out while Metroid was already going strong, I feel like it could have had a couple fans. The game was slow, it was a little clunky, and it had very little personality. 
But I remember I played it with four people a couple times, and it wasn't that bad. So I liked it. I didn't- I, I thought it was- it, people only hated it because of the name, but the game itself was fine. It was made by a, a good developer. Um, someone said, I'm just hoping Vinny doesn't do Fusion dirty. Uh, Fusion gets a D. Now we'll get there eventually. Um, Metroid Prime 3, I think, is- oh god, it's been so long since I played Metroid Prime 3. Hmm. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna come back to that one, because I need to do this first. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes is A tier. I think, um, after I streamed the game, I really loved it. And I think it gets a little bit of shit for being a bit convoluted at times, and it's... Yet, it weird, weirdly enough, has like a central hub area. I think, um, Metroid Prime 2 is a good game. And the music is great. And it takes some of the stuff from Metroid Prime 1 and complicates it a little bit. But I think it adds some needed difficulty. And I think it's great. Just a great game. Metroid Prime is S tier. Again, Super Metroid would still probably be up here a little bit. But uh, Prime is classic Metroid. It's the holy trilogy for me is these three games right here. Um, and... Prime was a perfect transition of Metroid into 3D, and I will always love that game and continue to play it. But I think 2 has some things that maybe are a little bit better than Prime 1, but Prime 1 just feels more like a classic Metroid game. So, uh, Prime, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Other M, I'm going to put in the D tier. And not just because, you know, I could easily put Federation Force down here, and that would make people happy. The truth is, Other M actively pissed me off. One of the reasons Metroid Prime Federation Force actually goes to C tier for me is because I played it the same day I played the original release of No Man's Sky. And that release of No Man's Sky was so terrible that it made Federation Force look good in comparison. Other M was just not good. It had some pretty okay mechanics at times, like, but... You just, like, mash the D-pad to dodge everywhere. And using a D-pad in 3D space sucked. The first person was clunky when you did go into first person. I didn't like that. Um, it kind of had some items from the classic Metroid games that you could use in 3D in a way that you couldn't do in first person shooters, like Prime. But otherwise, the environments were uninspired and boring. The story was pathetic. The voice acting and all the, like, you know, just the cutscenes were, it was, like, so out of place in Metroid and, and did not win me over. And I don't like what it did to Samus as a character. So Other M is just a huge, I mean, it's the game that killed the Metroid franchise for a while. Um, Samus Returns, I'm going to put in the B category. I would still put this above Metroid 2. Um, AM2R would probably be A or S tier, weirdly enough, but, uh, Samus Returns... No, no, I gotta go Samus Returns A. It's definitely more enjoyable than Metroid 2. Uh, it, it... But, again, mechanically it's better, but the atmosphere and the mood of it is a little less. Um, God, this is tough. This is tough, chat. B tier, I'm gonna put Metroid 1. I still have a soft spot for Metroid 1, and it is the game that started the whole thing. I played this game endlessly as a kid because there were no other Metroids when I was growing up and, and it was like the first of what was to come later. And it was great. Now, it's antiquated. It's a bit dated. But the same reason I love Zelda 2, I still love Metroid 1. So, I'm going to put Metroid 1 right alongside Metroid 2. Fusion, I'm going to put in the A category. Fusion is, I think, a fucking classic Metroid game. I'll be honest, I like it better than Samus Returns and, and um, maybe even Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Fusion almost could go in S, but there's something about the ship that doesn't win me over as much as the variety of the planets in the other games. Zebes, Zeb, Zebes, wow. Zebes are, is just a, an amazing place, and so is Talon 4. 
So, but Fusion is really, I mean, if you were to start with Fusion, you couldn't go wrong. Never played pinball, so this stays here. You need permission to put it in S. Oh, that's a good joke. <laughs> um, I love, yeah, I love these, like, these six games I think are great, and I, I wouldn't mind going back to them. Again, the tiers are a little bit jammed together, but I'm doing the best I can here. I'm going to put Prime 3 in... Hmm. You notice I'm hesitating. It's, uh, it's floating somewhere between B and A. I'm going to keep it in A because I don't remember very much of it. I do remember liking it. I've said this on stream several times. My experience with Prime 3 was good, but I didn't like the gimmicks of the motion control. Prime 2, for me, is a better game than 3. But Prime 3 is still pretty good. It just had some stuff in it that didn't quite... Uh, it wasn't necessary. So that's my Prime uh, and Metroid tier list. And again, Pinball I never played. It's a tough one. This is this is tough. I'm having uh, difficulty with Metroid uh, tier list because, again, I could like just stack them. Um, here's one I just saw. Hang on a minute. Um, before we do Mario. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this tier list for Castlevania games. I can't do that. Do a Final Fantasy one? That's tough. Maybe uh, there's a category for Egovania? I already did Zelda. That was in a previous stream. No Egovania. All right, let's do Mario. Mario's tough too, but I think maybe there's like 3D Super Mario games. Okay, this one's pretty doable. So 3D Super Mario games. Um, I like how this skips straight to F. Okay, so we've got Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2, Sunshine. 64, 3D Land, Odyssey. I need more time to reflect upon Odyssey, of course. And we're gonna put 3, 3D World there, and DS here. Just because the controls. Oops, all S. Yeah, this is as good as I can do, but um, I love Odyssey. It's been a couple of years, but I'm going to need a little more time. Uh, but I genuinely love these games. And Mario 64 is up here because of nostalgia um, and because of what it means to me. Sunshine is probably my favorite Mario game 3D because it's just, it's so good. I don't, I don't know. I love Flood. And um, Galaxy 1 and 2 are both pretty fucking classic games. I, I can't. Put them in order from left to right. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. So here's my order of... ...of favorite Marios, then. Um, so we'll do, like, something like this. And then we'll do something like this. That's actually a really good idea. Thank you, chat member. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. So, my favorites from left to right. And uh, DS is only because it's awkward to play that game. But but I'll be streaming it at some point with actual real analog controls. I'm looking forward to that. Land Over World, yes. Yes, Land Over... I, I don't know why. I just... I remember I completed Mario 3D Land twice. All the way through. Loved that game. World was good. It's a really fucking solid game. I just think I like Land a little bit better. It felt a little more like classic Mario in 3D. It was like a really novel thing, too, when it came out. It's like, oh, this is level-based Super Mario. Please note, these opinions are my own, and you may not agree with them. But I'm 
bored and I have 20 more minutes before I want to stop streaming. <laughs> so... Now let's do Mario... Uh, 2D Mario games. Also, tier lists were s very last year. Um... I'm, I'm looking for it. Mainline Mario games. Tell you what. We'll do this. It's spelled excellent. Spell, okay. Um, I'll just leave out the, the ones that I already did. So, Mario 3. I mean, you've already heard me talk about this, for sure. Mario World. Good images you got here. Tier list. I'm gonna put Mario 2 over there. Mario 1 is still great, but, you know. Mario Land... Uh, I, I streamed it recently, it's okay. Mario Land 2... Put that there. I, Mario, the original Mario Brothers is, like, nostalgic. Why are there two Mario 2s? What the fuck? So, you know what? We'll put them both up there. Um, Lost Levels, I'm gonna put in okay. It wants me to do New Super Mario Brothers? Okay. Here you go. Easy. I'm not kidding. This is really how I feel about the new Super Mario Brothers series. Here, let me fix that a little bit. Um, yeah, now that's how I feel about the new Super Mario Brothers series. Put two in bad. You're crazy, man. Um, now, three and world, I've said before. Mario 3 is definitely my favorite, but world is so fucking close. Um, I love Mario 2. I genuinely love Super Mario 2, and you know what? I would even probably put, like, Mario 1 up here, just because I still love it, but it's nostalgic love, where I think it would probably be better in the good category. You know what? Mario Land 2 is really good, and streaming that was a nice thing to do. I enjoyed streaming that. Um, I'm even going to put Lost Levels up here, because Lost Levels is... Pretty much the same as Mario 1, just harder. Uh, but I don't like it as much as Mario 1. Mario Land is just too short. It's a nice game. It's just too damn short. But I still like it better than the new Super Mario Bros. series. Weirdly enough, I think new Super Mario Bros. series are fine games. New Super Mario Bros. 1 is actually genuinely good. These are good games. I would probably have to put these in the good game category, but... I'm gonna pass. Um, let's see. It's, this is a difficult, this is a difficult thing to do. Final Fantasy. I haven't played a lot of these. So, I'm gonna do my best. Okay, that seems to be the proper order. I mean, I, I am listening to Final Fantasy music right now, so... Um, of the ones I've played, which, as you can see, is not a lot... This is my order. I li I don't... I like Final Fantasy VIII, don't get me wrong. I think B tier might even be a little low. If... I might throw eight in the A category, but for some reason it didn't click with me. Ten did not click with me. Um... Weirdly enough, I, I like Final Fantasy VIII, but I... The thought of going back and playing it is not appealing, but I do love so much of that game. The music, the, like, I don't know, the cutscenes. A lot of the characters are kind of, like, wet blankets, but there's a couple really good ones, too. Eight is good. Nine is my favorite, followed by six, then seven, and seven, I'm leaving in S tier again. Has it aged as well as the rest? No. But I have a strong emotional attachment to that game because of when I played it, and because of how many times I've played it. So, I've never played Tactics. Um, four, I never completed, but I got real damn close to the end of the game. So, maybe I would change my mind. Um, someone said, I'm disappointed, Vinny, but I guess growing up with ten makes me biased. By doing tier lists, I'm just giving people more reasons to dislike me. Fun. 
hopefully we can all be mature about this. <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> Final Fantasy VII character tier list? Oh, that's... okay. Oh, okay, well, this is easy. There we go. Just keep going here. All right. No, I... You... Come on, chat. Come on. Chat. Come on, chat. Chrono Trigger party members. Um... There's really not a lot of Chrono Trigger stuff, but... I can't do this one. The same way I was joking about the previous one... I love every character, not you, in this game. Uh, I do. Genuinely. No, even Marl. Even Marl. She, she's not as, like, she doesn't have as much development as some of the other characters, but I, I, I can't, I, you know, how the fuck do you choose? It's like choosing favorite children. Star Wars? What do you want me to do Star Wars? Oh god, here we go. Oh my god. Alright, so Last Jedi, S tier. Y you've heard me talk about Star Wars. This is gonna- this is gonna piss people off. But, um, you've heard me talk about this for way too long, so we're gonna do this very quickly. Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars. Okay. Return of the Jedi. And this is in order, mind you. Episode 3. Episode 2 goes down there. Phantom Menace, I like because it's silly. Last Jedi, I... I don't like Last Jedi, and I don't want to ever rewatch that movie, sadly. Force Awakens was a good Star Wars movie. If Even if you don't like it, I just like uh, that it felt like Star Wars, and after the prequels, it was like, oh, that's nice. But it has suffered a bit over the years for me. Um, the initial shock is, has worn off. Uh, Rogue One was fine. I already talked about this. Rogue One was decent. It, it just... I don't like any of the characters. It just had good action. Had good space scenes. Good spaceships. And I liked Solo a little bit more than... Um... I did. At the end of Solo, like, the second half of Solo was pretty good. Chat's going mental. But that's kind of how I really feel about it. I don't like Attack of the Clones at all. Um, and weirdly enough, I've grown fond of Episode 1 as the years have gone by. And I think Episode 3 is a genuinely decent Star Wars movie. But uh, I still think that Empire will be forever my favorite Star Wars film. Do Star Trek? Alright. Um, I'm gonna do music in a little bit, but I'll do one more video game tier list. Star Trek series. Here's the Star Trek series. You already know this, chat. You already know this. Um, Next Generation, followed by Deep Space Nine, both A, a tier. Also, this these logos. God damn these logos. I've never watched the animated series, I can't answer. I don't like Star Trek Discovery very much, but it's- it's trying. I'm gonna put, um, the original in the B tier. It hasn't aged very well, but the movies... If this is just TV shows, I still put it in the A tier because it started it, it's classic. I- I, you know, I love the characters. I think Spock, McCoy, and Kirk are like the holy trinity. I love those characters, but it's tough to watch. Voyager, I think, is pretty good, but I like the original Star Trek better. Enterprise is also pretty good. Um, I might even put... Oh, I love this tar trep terp Um, I might even put Enterprise a little bit above Voyager, weirdly enough. But Voyager had some classic episodes, so this is probably my list. Enterprise would be here. Discovery would probably be C or D. I, it just hasn't caught... It's the wind in its sail yet, and, and I think it's got some problems, some serious ones, but... No, Enterprise, I enjoyed. There were some really good episodes. It got kind of good. 
the second two seasons, uh, the second half of the show's life, but it just got real, um, real scummy. You know, um, I can do the movies too, real quick. So the motion, I don't, I can't tell what this is just by the cover. Is this Star Trek Two? Insurrection. I think this is. Oh God, that's Nemesis. First contact to put up there, even though it's not an S tier, it's probably A tier. Um, oh God, look at all this. I can't tell what this is. Enterprise. Okay, I'm gonna avoid the series. I love Star Trek The Motion Picture. I think that's a great fucking movie. Star Trek V is, is pretty bad. Um, Into Darkness is pretty fucking bad, too. I don't like that movie. Um, beyond... Uh, it's probably, like, the better... Generations, I like. It's B-tier, though. It's not that great. Only fuck is this movie? Chat, what is this movie? F uh, six? Oh, that's A tier. Easily. So, this is Star Trek 2, right? What is- what the fuck am I- is that three? Oh, this is two. So the Star Trek 3 would probably be, like, down here. I don't love it, but it's- it's okay. So, okay, uh, my favorite Star Trek movies are two, six, four, in that order. First Contact, Beyond, Motion Picture, then 20... 2007, then Insurrection, uh, Generations, then Insurrection, then Three, then Five, directed by William Shatner, then Into Darkness, and then Nemesis. That's my Star Trek movie order. So. You don't like Star Trek Six? Isn't one of the Star Trek movies about them getting whales? Yep, and I put that in my S tier because I love that movie. Leonard Nimoy directed that. Okay, um, let's do a quick... What's wrong with Nemesis? I don't, I just don't like that movie. I don't like what they did. I don't like Picard in the buggy. Ugh. Um, do Metal Gear. Okay, I can do Metal Gear, and then uh, Castlevania is a little rough because there's so much, but we can maybe do another tier list stream at some point if people like this. Um, Metal Gear. Again, only the ones I've played, and I missed a lot of the early ones. So, um, Metal Gear Solid, the original, is S-tier, one of my top five games of all time. So that's never gonna be beat. Metal Gear Solid 3. I'll put maybe a 2 in the A-tier. Peace Walker was, was pretty good, too. Alright, I see what this, what's up with that. Um, 5 is B-tier, but that's a, that's a strong B-tier. I actually really liked Metal Gear Solid 5. I wouldn't return to it. Rising Revengeance might be, like, A-tier. Um, 4... Oh, God, this is tough. Metal Gear Survive. Wait, that's Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain? Okay, we'll just put them back-to-back. -back. Which one is this? I, don't, I didn't play that one. Um... Metal Gear Solid 2 is A tier, but it's a strong A tier. Vinny, do you really have 4 over 5? Uh, I like the gameplay better of 5. But it felt- 4 felt like Metal Gear more. So that's kind of my list based on- again, you know, things are subject to change in, in one's meat brain life. Um, as time goes on, my favorite games lists shift around a bit. Things that I liked when I was a kid tend to, you know, memory fades, you play them years later. I've only recently played two, and I remember really enjoying it. I haven't played three in a while. You know, I, I really... It's hard to say for sure, but I'd say that this is my list. This seems to make the most sense. Put Survive in F tier. I haven't played it, but there you go. Alright, now this one, for people um, that don't know Radiohead, this is gonna suck for you, I think. But I want to do a little bit of music-related stuff, because um, I've been meaning to do a Radiohead tier list for a while. Wait, didn't I do this already? Chat, it was saved. It was already saved. I think I did this on stream, and my list is still here. 
So there you go. In rainbows, Kid A, OK Computer. Nope. Sorry, OK Computer, I like more than Kid A. Oh, right, this was before I did my system. Um... Wait, did I really put Hell to the Thief in Less Perfect? Oh. That's tough. Yeah, I'm gonna put, uh, I think I like Hail to the Thief a little more than Amnesiac. So there's my revision for this list. The rest of this seems pretty... The Benz is in less perfect. What the fuck am I doing? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No, 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 no. We don't do that to the Benz. We don't do that to the Benz. Um... So, in rainbows, OK Computer, and I- this is tough because I still might say OK Computer is my favorite. Kid A. Um, Hail to the Thief, I... Maybe the Benz would go here, then Hail to the Thief, then in Rainbows, or M Moonshape Pool, and I love Moonshape Pool a lot. Um, then Amnesiac. I'd probably even put Amnesiac in Less Perfect now. Oh, this is tough. Past Vinny, what are you doing to me? Weirdly enough, I kind of love, um, the King of Limbs, too. This is... this is tough, man. This is- this is tough. Which Vinny is wrong? I don't know. Here's an easy one. Here's a quick one. White Stripes. Elephant. White Blood Cells. Um... Icky Thump. I really like Icky Thump. I love Distilge, or Distill, whatever. Um, still just getting into the first album, but I think it's a B. And I think Get Behind Me Satan is a great album. I actually really enjoy Get Behind Me Satan. It's a fine album. In fact, I'd probably put maybe Distill above their two later albums. Um, and I, again, the first album I'm really getting into, but... You want me to do Nine Inch Nails? I don't know all their stuff, but I will do Nine Inch Nails. I know enough of it. Okay, Pretty Hate Machine is gonna be an A. Downward Spiral is S. Um, year Zero is probably like B. I love Broken. So I'm gonna put that maybe- oh, A or S, I'm not sure, hang on a minute. Fragile, S tier. I love the Fragile. Um, with Teeth is A tier. I really like that new one they put out. Bad Witch. Um, this is the slip. I'm gonna put that B tier. This was Add Violence, I think. It's B tier as well. And I don't know these albums. Which one's Ghosts, chat, of all these? The gray one. This one. Ghosts, I love. That's A tier. In fact, Ghosts is why they have, um, is why Trent and Atticus do soundtracks, because that was kind of like the, the door opening, like people were using it, and then people started requesting them. So, I don't know these three. Um, hey, Krom, Krom, what's this one? I don't know Meat Puppets well enough to give a list. White one is not the actual events EP, red is hesitation marks. Oh, I should know Hesitation Marks. Hesitation Marks is great. I know this is like a little tough, but Nine Inch Nails is a tough one. Um, white one is not the actual events. I don't know that one. And blue is the slip. Okay, so then what's this one? Still? Oh, okay, I don't know. The, I don't know still. This is the best I can do with what I know. Okay, um, but yeah, Downward Spiral and Fragile are, are my two S tier, and, uh, I can't... That's- that's a tough one to change. Though Broken is just seeing when- when me and Krom saw Nine Inch Nails, they did all of Broken. And it was... fucking amazing. And that was my first album... of theirs. Someone said Pixies. I will do... It's getting late, so I'm only going to do a couple more, but, uh, Pixies I'll go through real quick. So, Pixies, Doolittle. 
Um, I can't tell which one's Surfer Rosa. Where's the Surfer Rosa has a different cover. This is Surfer Rosa. So uh, do little Surfer Rosa. Um, where's Bossa Nova? I think this is Bossa Nova. I'm gonna put Bossa Nova in S tier because I fucking love that album. This is my personal choice, of course. Trompe Le Monde, that goes in the A category. I don't know what the hell these are. There's only four Pixies albums. Hang on a minute. No, they released some recent stuff. I don't think this covers the new album that they put out, which is actually pretty good. Um, one of these has to be Come On Pilgrim, which is an EP. Um, Come On Pilgrim is pretty good. Then there's Indie Cindy. I don't like Indie Cindy. I didn't like that album. Head Carrier was a little better, so I'll put that in the B tier. That's my list for the Pixies. I think that's pretty accurate. Um, Surfer Rosa and Doolittle, I love, but Bossa Nova is right there. I love the sci-fi themes on that album. Um, Gizzard? You gotta understand, too, I don't know all of King Gizzard stuff, and they have a lot of fucking albums. So, I'll do my best real quick. Nonagon Infinity. Here's, um, the Microtonal Banana. The album that got me into Gizzard. Infest the Rat's Nest. Hmm. I'm gonna put Gumboot Soup. That's Murder of the Universe. Where's Rat's Nest? Rat's Nest isn't on this list. It would be S tier though, because I, I now very much love that album. I'm gonna put Fishing for Fishies over here. Um, the Unholy Cannoli album is pretty good. Paper Mache. Um, Murder of the Universe. I, I like it. I like a lot of it. But I don't love the speaking. I wish Rat's Nest was on this list. Just give me a second here. Um, Polygon Wanaland is really good. I like sketches of East, of Brunswick East, but I'm going to put that like around here. Yeah. Um, and that's all I know by them. That's the Mind Fuzz album. This one, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know the rest of the, uh, their discography. Like I said, it's tough, because they, they just have so much. Quarters, I have to listen. Floyd? You want me to do Floyd? I'm, um, okay. God, alright, uh, we're almost at four in the morning, so this will be my last one. Um, eventually, maybe I could get Bowie going here. Animals. The Wall. Dark Side. Um, Wish You Were Here. Probably in this order, actually, for me. Um, then we're gonna do... Metal. Obscured by Clouds. I kinda love the final cut. I also kind of love Saucerful, um, Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Um, Saucerful of Secrets is pretty good. Division Bell is actually uh, an album that I've grown to really enjoy, but it's still not up there with Floyd's best. Um, but I think I like Division Bell even a little more. Well, Saucerful, I saw Nick Mason do earlier this year. Uh, let's see. Omaguma would probably be C tier. I don't love a lot of Omaguma, but it has some good songs on it. Endless River I still haven't listened to, aside from one song, and I'm, I'm still afraid to listen to it. Momentary Lapse of Reason has a couple decent songs. Um, more? Put it in the C tier, I guess. And uh, this is Adam Hart Mother, I'm sorry. Adam Hart Mother goes in the B tier, and Omaguma goes, like, probably here. Remember, left to right. So left is favorite. You know, so this is probably how it goes. I might even be tempted to put Wish You Were Here, like over here. And I love Dark Side, but it's just, I've heard it so many goddamn times. Talking Heads. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this makes sense. Obscured by Clouds, by the way. Underrated Floyd album. I might even put Final Cut right there because final cut is just so i don't know it just affects me emotionally for some reason um i think it's not a great floyd album but it's the best 
Roger Waters solo album. And uh, I love it. And I know I'm weird. I know that's a weird one. Okay, I got one more list. This is the... This is the one. This is the, the big list that everyone... Well, four people have asked for. It's the Bowie list. And this one's going to be tough. And there's a lot of albums. So I'm just going to go through it very, very, very quickly. But this is addictive. This is fun to do. Station to Station. Heroes. Mm. Ziggy. Low. So we're going to just go ahead and rearrange these a little bit. There we go. Paint Man Who Sold the World. Love that album. The Next Day. Love that album. Black Star. Probably there. Love that album. Hard to listen to. Aladdin Sane. Jesus, this is tough. Outside is a great album. I'd probably put it in the B tier. Um, Hours is not that great, but it has a couple songs I like on it. Earthling is is a, a great album. Let's see. Hunky Dory, S tier. Absolutely S tier for Hunky Dory. Sometimes that's my favorite Bowie. I'd put that... I even like that more than Heroes. Diamond Dogs, I don't love as much as some other Bowie stuff, but I still think it's great. That's the one 70s Bowie that I have yet to delve into. Um, oh god, then you have Young Americans, which is great. Oh my... mm. Let's Dance, I think I'd put an A. Stay... Oh god. Fuck, I have to do another S tier. Shit. Um... Scary Monsters, man. I love it even more than Heroes. Reality is not that bad. Reality's okay. Um, Bowie's first record's down here. I don't like this album at all. I don't like Bowie's first album. This is not his first. This is Space Oddity, by the way. Sorry. Um, most of early 90s Bowie is just a huge turnoff for me. I don't know why. Lodger's great. But I think it's the lesser of the Berlin trilogy, and I'd still, I probably some of my favorite Bowie songs are on Lodger. So, but Let's Dance is still too damn good. Um, the next day, I'd, I'd put it above the next day, and the next day is great. Um, this album, I forget the name of it. It got a really good remix, like a complete remix. You like Lodger more than Heroes? I don't. Lodger is easier to digest, but Heroes, you can really dig into. It's a, it's like a serious grower. Um, Tonight is not the album that got the remix. I don't like that album very much. Never Let Me Down got the remix, and that's pretty good. The remix is good. Heathen is, has some good songs on it. I put that solidly in the B tier, and Pinups is just his cover album, and I don't like it very much, but I'd put it probably like over here. This is the best I can do on short notice. And Young Americans doesn't feel right in the B tier. I'm going to put that in A tier. It's not my favorite A tier Bowie, but it's it's up there. And even Diamond Dogs is pro Fuck you. God damn it. It's like choosing your favorite children. Ziggy should be higher. Well, Ziggy's my third favorite Bowie album, so that's right up there. Just Station to Station is my favorite, followed by Low. Reality is one of the worst album covers ever. I hate the Reality album cover. Yeah, this list makes sense to me. I'd probably change my mind eventually, and again, Outside is a great album. Um, bordering between A and B, easily. And same with Earthling. So, fuck. Good enough. I'll leave it like that. That's fine. Here's the community rank, by the way. You can click Community Rank, and you can see what most people vote for, and where they put the albums, and this seems to be their list. So, I... 
you know, these, the S tier, those are up there for me. Um, but heroes and scary monsters, I again, I would say definitely belong S tier. So. But yeah, this is the amalgamation. Someone said Hunky Dory is overrated. Mate. Mate. This is a decent... I like this list, but again, Outside. I, I think Outside is such an underrated album. But anyway, um... It's kitschy. It is kitschy, but it, it's also got quicksand on there and life on Mars and... You know... Fucking... Um... Well, changes I don't love, but... It's got Oh You Pretty Things, that's the kitschy one. That's a fun one, though. Kooks is fun. Andy Warhol's great. Queen B Bitch is great. Anyway, uh, that's tier lists for the night. If you like this, we can do this again one day. Maybe another time when I'm not usually, um, when I'm not busy with something or other. Uh, thank you for checking this out. I mean, I like sharing my opinions on stream, even though it does get me in trouble sometimes. But, um, you know, it's good. I realized I didn't have to stop the playlist that I was listening to. I could have just kept that going, but um, we'll do a different one for art. 